So one reason that is always overlooked when it comes to alopecia and hair loss in women, and that is high mercury levels. So where are we getting this mercury from? It could be coming from our silver fillings, whether we have them now or in the past. It could be generational because these metals can be passed through our tissues for almost four generations. It could be the foods that we're eating, so fish for example. So if our body is storing this mercury into our tissues, it's not allowing other minerals and hormones to do their job well. It's actually blocking the receptors and we're not getting that input from those hormones and from those minerals that your body needs in order for your hair to step into that growth phase. So often when there's stress or there's toxicity, there, these heavy metals, it puts your body in a stress phase. So it keeps your hair in that telogen phase where it's going to be resting rather than growing. And that can last for quite a while. And so to, in order to understand whether you have high mercury levels, it's really important to talk to your provider and get your mercury levels tested through your urine so that you can understand yourself better and your toxicity level better because detox is so important when it comes to hair health.